Hi, and welcome to another video from the collection of Elementor Tips and Tricks video tutorials. In this short video, you are going to learn how to apply absolute position to any element of your website using Elementor Page Builder. If you're familiar with Elementor Page Builder, you may already know that you can adjust position of any elements on your website, but it does require some playing around with margins and paddings. By using absolute position feature, you will be able to easily move any elements of your Elementor page builder and place it anywhere you want on your website. To apply absolute position, go back to your Elementor editor and add new entry to your web page. I would recommend adding new entry to the bottom of your page. And the reason for it is that if you're going to move any elements out of those sections, by adding it to the bottom of your page, you will avoid the possibility of having unnecessary gaps in between your existing sections. Add your desired element. And first I'm going to show you how to format image. Select choose image within the content section and pick the image from your computer. Once completed, click Advanced tab and within Position menu, change default to Absolute. This will push the image out of the section and will enable you to move the image anywhere you want within your website by simply dragging and dropping that image anywhere you like within your website. If you would like to resize the image, with your mouse cursor, hover to the right of your image until you see the double-sided arrow and drag inwards to decrease size and outwards to increase it. If you would like to return the image to the default position, simply click Edit Image in the top right corner, choose Advanced tab, and within positioning, bring it back to the default location. You will be able to apply the same adjustments to any sections that includes text entries. In addition to resizing and moving those sections around your web page, you will also be able to change content, style, and apply some additional formatting by using Advanced tab within the Elementor Page Builder. By using this method, you can apply the same formatting to any elements within your web page. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you did. 
and I will see you in my next video.